is going a little slow and it didn't even see that um i had to brake hard those cars stopped for a school bus oh my god very bad we're gonna make a u-turn one more time the car is going for it and very slow one more time very very slow and as you guys can see right now we have the latest software okay at the very last moment the car decided to you know slow down and this time it decided to go again very close hello everyone we are back with another full self driving video and as you guys can see right now we have the latest software not fsd we didn't get it like version 12.4.1 but we got that 2024.14.9 which is also the version of 12.3.6 for full self driving but there is definitely some bug fixes and stuff like that so we're gonna try how it performs in long island run concoma so as you guys can see you can see that beautiful view of this car and if i lower my glass you can see that in the screen but there are a few other changes like this big wi-fi button bluetooth button and stuff like that also there are some you know like a few other changes definitely headlight and auto beaming and stuff like that but most importantly what we're gonna do is test full self-driving also here is the small map as you guys can see so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put that destination exactly where i always try it so let's go guys also guys if you guys are new in this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is the only free way you can support me as a content creator so let's see our car is calculating the route and we're gonna turn on that fsd by going to drive mode and as you guys can see we can and also see these cool graphics over here but what we're gonna do is turn on fsd and we'll see how the car handles this drive so our car is getting out very very nice we're gonna make a right turn here on this stop sign i will see how the car handles this right turn seems like very very confident it is creeping we don't need to creep here because this is a always stop sign i said it so many times that if you are in a stop sign which is a always stop sign you don't need to creep but the car decided to do that but we're gonna try fsd and we'll see how the car handles this situation so i'm gonna make a right turn here as you guys can see our car turns on its indicator we are making it so we'll make a right turn again on this stop sign but we definitely have to look on our left side before making this right because there will be car coming from our left side so we definitely have to creep here and then look on our left it seems like there is no other car so our car is proceeding very very nice job there the light just changed we need to stop and slow down but okay at the very last moment the car decided to you know slow down we need to change the lane to follow this route uh, our car is not doing it still now so probably it will miss this lane change um it should now it is trying to change the lane and it changed the lane perfectly but was a little slow it could just easily change the lane by going into that uh, left lane pretty early but it decided to change the lane at the very last moment but it is doing it it did it perfectly but the complaint is when there is other cars in our back and is very close to you we shouldn't change lane or like you know bother that person but our car did it but in the first place there are like so much way to change lane but the car decided not to do it so we are going forward very very nice so on this exact moment for some reason my outside camera just turned off so i had to fix it so i just stopped fixing the cameras thank you for hanging out guys don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the video because i'm gonna fix it right away and we're gonna try that best thing where the car failed on a stop sign of a school bus so let's enjoy the video guys i'm gonna turn on fsd again and it should proceed now it is proceeding very nice sorry for the inconvenience guys also guys if you guys are new in this channel we are trying that exact road where the car always makes mistake because of uh sun glare so it is making a left turn and this time it decided to go again very close okay 
probably not that close when I was seeing that on the mirror. It felt like it is very close, but this time the car did it perfectly without any problem. So let's go somewhere else where the road is very narrow because last time I tried in the rather narrow road, the car makes mistake and almost hit a car. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take over, or no, I'm not gonna take over. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell the car to go over there by changing my direction and we'll see how the car handles this situation. So there is another car. Okay, another, another car. Okay, our car made that right turn perfectly. It looks okay to me. Um, very nice. Another complaint right over here on this stop sign. When we stop there, we have to see on our left side because there are other cars coming from our left. As you guys can see, that car, right? But sometimes there is car coming, still our car moves. You can see there are other cars coming right over here. So we should definitely look first. As you guys can see, our car is trying to proceed. It shouldn't proceed. Okay, it is going slow, which is the good thing to do. You should go slow when there is other cars coming. And it merges here. Very nice job. No mistake had been made yet. So, okay, I'll, I'll change the direction now and we'll tell the car to make... So we're gonna make an unprotected left. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose to go here so our car can navigate us over there. So let's see. This will be an unprotected left turn test in Long Island. We have to stop here and look on our left side and right side, both side to make this left turn. So we are stopping right over here. And there is other cars from our left and right, but we can't see because of these trees. So after this move, we can proceed, but we decided not to go. And our car is almost, the front part of our car is almost in the lane, which I don't like because of that, every other car is giving us space to make that left turn perfectly. Very nice. Now, again, one more thing I'm gonna do is I will make a U-turn here one more time and we'll try this with a difficult road where it's literally a little hard to make this left turn so I'm gonna make a right turn here So a little slow, it is going 14 because it's probably a little narrow and because of so many trees and shadows, the car is having difficulties to look. But now we have to do a U-turn as you guys can see. And there is no other car and there is a car right now from our left side. After these two car, we should just proceed and uh, right now you should just stop here. Yep. I'll go a little far, go a little far, yes. And now you can make this U-turn very, very nice. Little slow, while making this U-turn, the car was going a little slow. Let's do it one more time. So I'm just trying the same turn, U-turn, so that the car, the car was moving pretty slow while making a U-turn in a busy road. So I just complained to Tesla so that they have that in record and they have that data so that they can fix it in near version. So let's see, I'm gonna make a U-turn again one more time. And then there was like, the good thing is there is like no other car on our left and right. I was just curious if there is like so many cars, how would that car behave when there are like so many cars around on our left side, right side, probably a pretty fast car is coming from our behind. So not sure, this is the thing we have to try, 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 and this kind of scenarios appears, then we could explain what the car did. So there was a time where the car makes mistake making this exact route, but this time I'll make it a little harder. I will try if there is any other car and we'll see if the car proceeds. So let's try one more time.
my interior camera just shuts off so we're gonna proceed without the interior camera guys sorry about that every camera is not charged up today unfortunately but what i'm gonna do now is proceed this video without interior camera but you have that outside camera so as a human there is a human walking over there and we have to make a right immediate uh, u-turn as you guys can see the car is moving 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 and yeah it stopped we'll see how the car handles this situation as you guys can see our car should proceed it is not creeping at all at the very first place and after these two car we should just proceed yes this is the right thing to do after immediately so now you have to go behind of that car and stand here until 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 so i just want to turn on the back camera to look if there is any other car no you cannot go because you are not that fast after this all other cars moved away from our route then we can make this u-turn but i'll definitely look how the u-turn looks here definitely after this car definitely you have to do it very slow again it is making that u-turn but very very slow not sure why exactly but it is going a little slow and it didn't even see that um i had to brake hard those cars stopped for a school bus oh my god very bad there is a school bus on the opposite side our car didn't even see that those cars are stopped those other car from our left side have been already stopped and we are not stopped there for some reason so not pretty sure not pretty sure what is happening there so not a pretty good result here we're gonna make a u-turn one more time the car is going for it and very slow one more time very very slow whenever you're making a u-turn go fast that's the only simple thing you have to do and this is a red light okay it slows down at the very last moment um it can see that red light from far as as a human i can see that so the camera should also see that right i know as a like if you compare to eye to camera eyes are way better but still it should see that red light and slow down i almost got a ticket because if i was just cross that red light our we are definitely gonna get a ticket from the school bus but the interesting part is our car decided to go and i had to take over you know it is what it is guys i cannot do anything right now you know and uh, right now i'm just gonna end the video it is almost more than 11 minutes i don't want to like bring this video a, a longer time than that so make sure you subscribe and we should definitely work on this fsd and we should definitely talk about this because if we talk if we make videos like this then tesla will have more data to support that and tesla will fix it so we'll see how the car handles this left turn and then i will finish this video so make sure you subscribe to this channel we're gonna make so many content on tesla full self-driving elon musk things and talking about everything he does in real life so let's subscribe and have a wonderful wonderful day